That's super cool, right? Wow, the balloon has inflated using this reaction of baking soda and citric acid. Hello, welcome to my world. Da, 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 da. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Karina and this is Michael. And today we are going to be making a science experiment using the science lab kits. It comes with over 40 pieces and 60 different science experiments. So today's experiment we're going to work on is the water blows balloon. So experiment number seven. This is a chemistry science experiment and the materials uh, that we're going to need are citric acid, baking soda, a test tube, two measuring spoons, a funnel, and a balloon. So this kit comes with the majority of the items you will need. However, the only item we're going to use from home is water. And we have that right over here. There, do you see step one? Yeah. So it says, grab the test tube. Can you get the test tube for us? Yeah. Very nice, yep. Yeah. And go ahead and open it up. Nice. So step number one says, fill a test tube with three quarters water and four spoons of citric acid. So three quarters of water. That'll be so about right there. Okay, so you want to dump that for me very carefully. And you're going to add four spoons of citric acid, okay? So dump it in here. Like, watch me, I'll do one and you can do the rest. Look, I'm gonna get one. Now step two, do you have your balloon? So go ahead and grab the balloon and it says to fill a balloon with four spoons of baking soda using a funnel. So we're gonna use the funnel and do you see the picture here, Michael? Do you see how the balloon is wrapped on the funnel? So go ahead and do that for me. Put the balloon in the funnel. Good job. So we added our balloon to the funnel. Okay, and now it says to stretch a balloon over the mouth of a test tube. We're gonna add four spoons of baking soda in the funnel, okay? In the green funnel. So there's one. Okay, and I'm just going to shake it and shake it until it all falls in the balloon. Okay, so now we got all the baking soda in the balloon. Okay, and now let's see what our step three is. It says pour the baking soda in the water and observe what happens. So, oh, but before that we have to take our funnel out and we have to stretch the balloon around the test tube. You see how that works? And now we are going to pour the baking soda in to see what happens. So what should happen is you'll see the balloon starting to inflate on its own. So Michael, do you want to help me? So do you see all the baking soda in here? I want you to turn the balloon up and let all of the baking soda fall in here to see what will happen. Go ahead, lift it up, uh-huh. Let all of this fall in. Yeah, just so gently, very gently you can squish it. Ooh, what's happening? Look at all those. Look at the reaction. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Look at what's happening. Wow. 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 Look at the balloon. <laughs> That's super cool, right? Wow, the balloon has inflated using this reaction of baking soda and citric acid. Isn't it's, that cool? It's so big. It inflated. It blew up. We still see some baking soda in there. Should we try and get it in the test tube? Yeah. All right, try it. Lift it up a little bit. Just careful. Do you look at the bubbles? It's fizzy enough everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Good job, Michael. We did it. It worked. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> High five. This is the water blows balloon experiment, the seventh experiment on this science lab kit. Thank you guys for watching. Say bye. Bye.
subscribe my channel.